So you wanna make money online. Well, guess what? You're not at the right place because this video is not gonna teach you any get rich quick schemes because that shit doesn't work. If you ever watch any video and the dude promises you to make, I don't know, 200 bucks a day or whatever, run away. That guy's fucking scamming you out. Listen, in life, there's no shortcuts. For you to become successful at whatever you do, you have to have wisdom, you have to increase your knowledge, and you have to dedicate time into creating something that's sustainable. It's simple as that. However, for the sake of this video, I will be telling you the truth. I won't be bullshitting you. I'm not selling you anything. I'm gonna tell you what has worked in my past. I'm gonna tell you what has worked for other people, and I'm gonna break it down into three simple categories or three different uh, opportunities you have. Uh, see, there's many different uh, things you can do online. Actually, there's thousands of things you can do online. So what we're gonna be focusing on is I think the lowest hanging fruits. So let's go. And remember, this is hard work. It's not easy. So get your pen and paper and pay attention, okay? Okay, number one. This is how I got online. Number one it is, you guys can see that? Affiliate, affiliate marketing, okay? Most people, when they start online or trying to make money online, they're trying to look at this avenue, that avenue, they're trying to reinvent the wheel, they're trying to build up their own funnels, their own systems, everything. Literally, they're trying to build Rome overnight. Hold on, hold on. I'm a firm believer in learning from people way ahead of you. Remember what Isaac Newton said, I wanna stand on the shoulder of giants. So you wanna acknowledge people who are ahead of you and figure out, wait a second, they already did this. I don't need to reinvent anything. How can I follow the same path as they did by my own way? And this is where affiliate marketing is. If you're not familiar with affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing is this. Let's say you wanna sell this pen, or let's say you wanna sell this person's pen. So you sell it and you get a commission. That's pretty much in a nutshell. You are advocating other people's products or services and in return, you get a percentage of that sale. The percentage can be 5%. It can be upwards of sometimes I've seen even 90%. It really, it really matters on the contract and the deal that you have with the person that owns a product or the service. So, so that's affiliate marketing in a nutshell. Now the quickest way you can get into affiliate marketing online is ClickBank. Uh, there's JB Zoo, but I recommend ClickBank. It's easy, the UX design is simple. So you go to ClickBank, let's write this down. All right. You go to ClickBank and what you're looking for is products that you like. So don't just go after random products. And the most products on ClickBank are like info products. Uh, they're actually starting to sell supplements right now, so they have physical products, uh, memberships, so a lot of info products slash physical products, i.e. supplements, give or take, or even like small uh, gadgets. But what you wanna do is you wanna go to ClickBank, you wanna go to the marketplace, and you wanna type in things that you use on a daily basis. So let's say you use a certain supplement. Let's say you like learning about fishing. Okay, so we're gonna use analogy about fishing. You're gonna type in fishing and you're gonna see uh, the top selling courses or membership sites around the world in fishing. So you find one, you're like, okay, this site is about fishing. Uh, usually the average order size is like, you know, you make 20 bucks on everything you sell. This is the funnel. So everything's laid out there for you. So basically what you do is register, you sign up, you become affiliate. And this is where the magic comes in. It's your job not to make any money off affiliate marketing. That's not the point of this. The point of this is understanding how did that successful company make a business from it? So what you need to do is you need to go through the whole funnel from top to bottom. So basically what you do is once you're registered, you're gonna see, okay, how is your website built? What is your product? What is your margins? Uh, how is your sales pages? How is your shopping cart? What is your email marketing? So it's your responsibility to screen capture the whole process from top to bottom. And you want to understand and kind of become a detective and looking deep and figure out how did this fishing company become so successful. That's the point of affiliate marketing. It's not really to make money, but mind you, you could make money once you understand how the whole system works and driving traffic to their product. But the whole idea is you have all these teachers in front of you. So what I recommend people is like dive in deep. So let's say you study this membership website about fishing, great. Next thing you study this website about health. Next thing you study this website about, I don't know, spirituality. So basically what you're doing is you're finding the best people in each single niche you're joining as an affiliate. Now you have access to their mailing. Well, you don't have access. You have access to what they mail. You have access to the sales pages, abandonment cart, everything. The whole fucking nine yards you have access to. That's a gold mine. And capture that, uh, get information from that, and then bit by bit you can apply that to your own business. Okay? So that's number one, affiliate marketing. Number two. Numero. Dos, okay, number two. 
And these are going in order too, from where I think you should start to the next stage. Info product. So now, since you spend maybe like six months a year in affiliate marketing, you understand what a funnel looks like. You understand copy, you understand sales page, you understand pricing, you understand all these different cognitive biases. You understand the whole beast in general. It's not just like you're just looking at one corner of the map, but you're seeing the whole map as a whole, okay? So once you get that and you have some internal wisdom and knowledge and you experience wins, you experience defeats, your next step is like developing your own product online. Info product, educational product, membership product, it doesn't matter. Uh, what I recommend for info products is once again, not reinventing the wheel. I'm a firm believer in seeing what others have done successfully, but doing it in your own way and doing it a little bit better, adding your own gravado and adding your own kind of flavor to it. So basically, let's say you like a membership website you saw out there. Great, you found a membership website, you've spent time doing affiliate marketing. Now what you wanna do is instead of you wasting all your time to build that info product, I highly recommend that you start building a platform. So what I recommend is start becoming a leader, you know, a thought leader in that space, start guest blogging. So I'm gonna write this down. Your job is to guest blog on all the different mediums about the topic. Your job is to double down on content marketing. So doing content marketing right, building pillar posts on your website, doing going on people's uh, podcasts as a guest, doing the guest, uh, guest blogging on other people's podcasts. Because the whole idea with you becoming a, the thought leader in the space is A, obviously people view you as the authority, but B, from an SEO perspective, okay, from an SEO perspective, if this is your home base, that's H, you guys can see that that's your home base over here, and you are now putting content out on other people's platforms, you are developing kind of your own internal network for backlinks back to your website, which in, in, in essence, gives you T traffic. So you get a lot of traffic back to your website, which increases your email list. And now since you have a, a booming email list, it's your job now to, guess what? Communicate with them. So most people, they burn out and lose out on just developing, developing a product from their head. Uh, they assume people want that, but that's never really the case. So it's your job now to survey your list, to survey your audience, see what problems they have. I love what Christensen said, or M. Christensen said uh, in his book, he's like, what would people hire you to do? Or what would people hire your product or service to fix? So it's your job to investigate your tribe on what problems can you fix for them. So once you've identified a certain problem, it's kind of easy from there. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna pre-sell that solution for their problem. And now, since you pre-sold it, you have capital, okay? You have capital to fund that info product. And now since you've been spending time in affiliate marketing for the last six months, you understand what it means to build a funnel. You understand what it means to capture an email. You understand what, you know, your CAC, your LTB, your average order size, uh, your abandonment card, all these metrics that everyone should understand for their business, you understand it already because you've been mentoring yourself with affiliate model, okay? So that's number two, it's info products. And number three, number three. Number three, here we go. E-commerce. So this one is the most difficult one because now you're dealing with physical products, a lot of customer service, and you have a lot more logistical nightmare when it comes to actual physical products, especially if you're shipping from like Korea or China, dealing with uh, taxation, dealing with uh, importing and exporting fees, and yeah, yeah, a lot of, lot of other issues. But I'm gonna give you a heads up when it comes to e-commerce. I believe moving the future, and a great example for this is Huckberry for clothing. They do an amazing job for this. It's combining a content site. So you wanna combine C plus E, in my mind, equals success. So what you wanna do is, once again, if you're, if you're considering going to e-commerce, don't reinvent the wheel. See what's successful out there already, or see what you're wearing already. Uh, maybe you like a product, maybe you can make a product better. Maybe they're offering white labeling so you can actually add your own brand logo into it. So this is what I recommend. First, you wanna build a content website before your regular e-commerce website. So in the content website, let's focus on something that kind of applicable today. We'll do, um, we'll do drones. They're pretty hot right now. So I'm gonna do a content website about how to build your own drones. I'm gonna review drones. I'm gonna be blogging about drones. I'm gonna be going on 
Huffington Post and Venture Beat and blogging and writing and doing videos all about drones and building this content empire on you know, kickassdrones.com. And then basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to AliExpress or I'm gonna find somebody overseas who's gonna send me a couple of samples of these drones or I'll pay for the samples. And I'm gonna take these very small investment that I had, maybe you know a thousand to three thousand dollars into maybe two drones or three drones, and I'm gonna put them up on a Shopify store, which is uh, my content marketing or my content block, okay? And then it's your job now, since you have the education of affiliate marketing, education of having your own info product, it's your job now to drive traffic to your page and become, guess what? An online entrepreneur that understands growth hacking online. So you understand, okay, my traffic is coming from this referral, that referral, A, B, C, D, my conversion rate for email is whatever, uh, my, my average order size for this is this, my abandonment card is for that, my email open rate is this, my click-through rate is that. You get the gist of it. You understand all the metrics, all these nuances when it comes to building an e-commerce business. And that, that's it for the nutshell. I'm not gonna go any further. That's your first step when it comes to e-commerce is first building a content website around the set topic that's really important to you and what you like to wear or use or take or what you respect because you've gotta have a personal and deep-rooted connection with the product that you're selling or else you're just a fake like everybody else. You don't wanna be a fake, you wanna be the real authentic you, okay? Uh, and then from there, getting a few samples on your Shopify store. You can use any platform. I prefer Shopify because fuck, they're the best. And they're so easy for everybody. And the customer service is phenomenal. So you go on Shopify and you do that. And then you just drive some traffic there and see how people buy it. See the price that you're offering. See the actual conversion funnel from the time they go on a blog they read. And from the blog, do they go to your cart? And if they do go to your cart, do they click the cart, like the shopping cart? If they don't, then maybe the button's off or the copy's off. So you get the gist of this. You become a deep uh, analytical scientist when it comes to all this shit. And that's that. Those are my three uh, avenues when it comes to making money online. Affiliate, info product, e-commerce, wrap that baby up, spend a couple of years in it, and there's no fast track to success. That's that. Peace. Oh yeah, by the way, you got questions about this? Leave a comment below this video, like this video, and subscribe. Adios.